Let's go. Heat it up. It's a warm one in here today. We got a battle. You guys ready to do this? Claire, Connor, Daniela, crush the teachers today. What's up, guys? Oh, they look smart. You guys are in trouble. All right, today, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. My name's Richard Curtis. To my right, it's the students, and the left, it's my teachers from Pensbury High School in Bucks County. Everybody jammed into the classroom to go head to head with their favorite students and teachers. What's at the end of this rainbow? Just a big fat check for $500 and bragging rights in the classroom for years to come. This game starts now with a pop quiz. Have your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Does everybody understand how to play now? It doesn't matter, we're gonna play anyway. Time starts right now, good luck. In 2023, Josh Shapiro was sworn in as what political figure for the state of PA? First one in, Daniela. The governor. Good. In math, deca is a prefix for what number? First one in, Miss Booze. 10. Good. Extra credit question, I'm gonna double the points right here. What NFL team won Super Bowl 57 in 2023? Daniela. The Rams. Incorrect for the steal. Mr. Ciola. The Chiefs. The Chiefs is right. You take the 20 point lead. Which temperature scale does not use negative numbers or degrees and starts at absolute zero? Connor. Kelvin. Good. South Korean singer Psy went viral in 2012 for what song? Connor again. Gangnam Style. You can do the dance later. Buffalo, Syracuse, and Albany are three major cities in what US state? Connor again. New York. In arts and crafts, acrylic, oil, and watercolor are different types of what material? First one in, Mr. Linneman. Paint. Good. What product, also known as Kraft Dinner, is sold in a blue box and considered comfort food among adults and children alike? Daniela. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, one of my favorites. What a pop quiz round, people. Unbelievable students grabbing 50 points and Connor being lightning hot three questions in a row. Teachers working together grabbing 40 points, trailing those students by 10 early. Hey, it's today, it's a Pensbury High School school from Fairless Hills, Pennsylvania, in the studio. It's the Falcons, so get the wings out. Let's fly, baby. Hi, I'm Daniela. I'm a senior at Pensbury, and a fun fact about me is that I play girls basketball for Pensbury. Hi, I'm Connor. I play soccer for the Pensbury Falcons, and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm a senior at Pensbury, and I play volleyball. Hi, I'm Frank Seol, and I teach English at Pensbury High School. And while normally I'm coaching Daniela McDonald on the basketball court, today I'll be competing against her. Hi, I'm Mike Lindemann. I'm a physics teacher at Pensbury High School, and I'm from West Philadelphia, born and raised, and on the playgrounds where I spend most of my days. My name is Joy Booz. I teach mathematics at Pensbury High School East, and I love to travel. And if there was a problem, yo, I'd solve it. Not only are they incredibly smart, but they're beautiful as well. Well done to our teachers over here. You guys, great start and unbelievable lyrics. But Claire, I gotta go to you because you said, Mr. Seol came to you, he said, we're starting a super team, we're going on the classroom, and then you picked these two. Why'd you pick these two? All right, we got like a nice blend of, of talent. So T Daniela, sports queen. Connor, so smart. I know he can just pick up anything like you've just seen in this yeah. pop quiz. So we got a stacked team. Uh, I and you know what? You it. didn't have to hit your buzzer one time, no, Claire. No, you picked the right team. The right team wins for you. Hey, what do you guys say? Let's go to detention right now. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, teachers, you guys are trailing right now, but if you win this round, you would take the lead. So here's your category to pass or play on, and we go with science. Play. We'll play. All right, guys, excellent. Here we go. According to the Mohs scale, 
Which measures minerals' resistance to scratching? What is the softest mineral? Deep it's breath from the teacher side. Deep in discussion here. Need an answer, guys? Uh, 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 calcium. Calcium. Incorrect. We were looking for talc. Talc was the softest mineral. The students were like, duh, teachers. We had that one locked up. But you guys didn't have to answer the question, and now you get to send one of your teachers to detention. Strategy here comes into play. Who's it going to be? Uh, Mr. Ciola, will you go into detention? All right, our English teacher out of the game leaves the science teacher after they've already seen a science question. A little bit of strategy there. Probably not going to see two. Well played. Leaving our two favorite teachers here hanging out. But it's not going to you guys. It's headed over to our students for this category. Books turned movies. Do you love it or do you want to send it to the teachers? I'm going to play. You're going to play. Here you go. What Jesse Andrews novel turned movie is about a teen filmmaker named Greg who befriends a girl diagnosed with cancer. Oh, need an answer, guys? Sounds like a lyric from a song, Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. That is the title. Unfortunately, you didn't get it right. Connor says he had that one in the back of his head. You'll, you'll know it next time. That's it. good. I watched it. We all did. It was a great flick. We cried. All right, teachers, you get to send one of the students over here. Who's it going to be? We are going to send Connor. If you fast. didn't, I was going to shut the show down. <laughs> Connor, get out of the game. You're done. All right, he heads to detention. All right, Claire, Danielle, your game's on you now, but the category is not. Teachers, back to you, and here it is. Social media. We will play. Good. Risky business, sending it back to the kids. What YouTube comedy series stars former BuzzFeed employees Keith, Zach, and Eugene, who film themselves attempting to do things they've never done before? Like Zach and Tyler or something like that, but it's not. Zach and Cody, I think that's a Disney Channel show. <laughs> the Try Guys is what we were looking for. All right, the Try Guys, Danielle, Claire, who's it going to be? Which teacher stands alone? Uh, Mr. Lindemann, we'll be going to detention. That's it, Mr. L, out of the game. Okay, Miss Booz, holding on tight for dear life, and the teacher, 40 points in the back pocket, so hold right there. All right, two teachers in detention, one student. And we go back to you. This category is yours. You get it right, you win the round. 40 points, here we go. History. Do you love it, or do you send it over to Miss Booz? We're gonna send it back over to Miss Booz. Ooh, our math teacher with a history question. Nice. Here we go. Oh, God. In a January 1918 address to Congress, President Woodrow Wilson proposed his plan for a post-World War I peace settlement in a speech called what? I really have no idea. I can't even take a guess. <laughs> I wouldn't have had it either. 14 <laughs> points is the answer. Hey, that's going to get you guys 40 points. Teachers, Miss Booze, head on over to tension. Connor, get over here. We got to celebrate. How does it feel, guys? You're up to 90 points on the game. A commanding lead, and students are driving this bus. You stay right there. Our class is coming back. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's do this thing. Teachers, good try. Pensbury is putting on a show. Welcome back to the classroom. Hey, it's art class time coming up next, and I hope you brought the best marker you can because we have Picasso hitting the board first. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. 
All right, teachers, after a tough detention round for you guys, you're going to want to grab these points in round one. Easier said than done with five seconds on the clock. So pick your color. Time starts now. Just kidding. No, <laughs> Come on back here. Take a look at your card. That was mean. I'm sorry. It was mean. Okay, you ready? Uncap your marker, put on your best face, and roll. Here we go. Time starts now. Oh. Oh my gosh! Here we go! Flower pot. Uh, incorrect! Okay, let's try this again. I am I believe in you. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Time starts right now. Okay, everybody, immediately think, what did you guess? What is she gonna draw now? Okay, stop right oh, there. Sorry. What is it? This. Is that your answer? Yes. That is correct. Yeah. All right, 20 points. <laughs> so close to the flower pot, but yeah, the vase was that. You got so much done in so little time. That's exactly the teacher mantra, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to switch you and Daniela up here. All right, Daniela, come on up. I'm going to give you this one here. That's okay. yours now. I'm going to erase the board for you. Take a look at your word. Remember, 30 points is on. Oh, that's the same word that we had the teachers go. All right, that's your word right there. Go ahead, you don't have to just, yeah, we have plenty of those. All right, that's what you're doing. Okay. Okay, grab a marker. Time officially starts right now. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, stop right there. You guys ready? This is, this is good. What is it? A fishing pole? Unreal! <laughs> that they just got that! That could have been a sliding board. Out of the, I, un, but hey, that's all that matters is they grab it. Up to 120 points on the game, doubling the teacher's score right now. Unbelievable. Hey, uh, who wants some extra credit? I'm, I'm leaving. The, the positivity vibes are rolling right now. Let's do it. I'm still in shock over here. All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question, everybody. Both teams, you're going to have 60 seconds during the commercial break to write down your answers. And a correct answer here is worth 10 points. Here is your question of the day. What sneaker company teamed up with Warner Brothers in 2019 to release a collection of shoes, clothing, and accessories inspired by Harry Potter? I don't know the answer, but maybe these guys do. But either way, where are they selling that merchandise? And how can I get some? When we come back, we find out. What a guess over here. The fishing pole out of you. Today, we have the students and teachers from Pensbury High School in Bucks County going head to head. That was fast. Students, 120 getting up there. Love to see it. And teachers, 60 points. Now, I will say, you guys are playing a good game. You're unfortunately strategically getting some hard questions that we're just missing. But I'll tell you right now, you guys are in this thing all the way until the end. A lot of points left to be grabbed. So stay tuned. Teachers, we know we fight to the end. All right, before the break, I asked both teams this extra credit question. What sneaker company teamed up with Warner Brothers in 2019 to release a collection of shoes, clothing, and accessories inspired by my man, Harry Potter? Mr. Ciola, we're going to go to you first. Vans. Get you up to 70 points on the game. Great one. Daniela, our style queen, what'd you say? We also said Vans. Too cool for school, up to 130 and playing an awesome one. Hey, if you win today, not only are you going to give these teachers one heck of a hard time when you get back to class, but what are we going to do with that money? We are donating our money to the best prom in America. Oh, wait, that's you guys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you get like DJ Pauly D and stuff? We did oh, before, yeah. yeah. All right, what, who's this year? Uh, I don't know yet. Rick They're Ross. Us. Get Rick Ross. <laughs> that's who you need, Rick Ross. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm coming to that as a chaperone. <laughs> Teachers, how about you guys? If you win this one, what are you going to do with it? I think we might get Rick Ross now. That you <laughs> my God! <laughs> Mr. Seal, I knew you were my favorite teacher of all time. If you don't get Rick Ross, so what are you going to do? We'll, it'll go to our wellness committee, which is kind of a, something that we do among our staff. You should definitely do Rick Ross. Okay, <laughs> hop on the bus. It's field trip time. Grab your
your buzzers, we will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. Just thinking about it now. Everybody, hands go up and they stay down. I mean, that would be unreal. I'm just, okay, we're taking a field trip to Music Fest. Unbelievable, you guys, what are the chances? Rick Ross might be there. Jen Fred from Fox 29 is gonna be asking the questions today, and if not one of them, it doesn't include Rick Ross. We are rioting over here. Jen, what's up? Hey guys, you know I love a field trip, and today we are in Bethlehem. Why? Well, Music Fest. In its 40 years, Music Fest has welcomed many popular artists to its stages, and this year is no different. Let's test your knowledge of some of these artists. Here's your first question. I should probably go to bed. 10,000 Hours and Speechless are songs by what country pop duo that performed this year at Music Fest? 10's Murray, I am shocked. Claire did not get in under the gun there. How do we not know Dan plus Shay? You guys, that, I mean, Dan and Shay are the best. I know, put it on your iPods, you'll love it. All right, Jen, question two, make it about Rick Ross, come on. Walker Hayes is one of the artists that performed this year at Music Fest. His hit song, Fancy Like, refers to going on a date to get a Bourbon Street steak at what popular chain restaurant? Yeah, Miss Boo's in first. Applebee's. Let's go, that's where we're headed if you guys win this thing. We're celebrating at Applebee's. I love it. All right, here we go, last one. Jen, this is a tough question, let's do it. Here is your last question about Music Fest performers. Are you ready? Gerald Earl Gilliam is the real name of the rapper known for the him and I duet with Halsey and the me, myself, and I duet with Bibi Rexa. What is his stage name? Daniela. Low baby. So close, incorrect. For the steal, you can say basically anything. <laughs> Those points? Okay, <laughs> we get points. I would have given it to you. The answer, G Easy. How about that? Was a tough one. I knew it was going to be tough. That wraps it up for field trip, everyone. You can put your buzzers down. I got to give a huge shout out to my girl Jen Fred for asking those questions today. She always does such a nice job. All right, students. After the final intro rounds, you are holding the 130 to teachers 80 point lead as we shut it down and go to the final exam. All right, here it is. The topic of today's final exam is athletics. So strap up, here we go. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about this final exam topic. Each correct answer is gonna bank you 100 points for your team. You're gonna work together as a squad during the commercial break. So let's do it. Question number one. What do each of the rings of the Olympic flag represent? I'm looking for one answer. Don't say it now. In Netflix's Never Have I Ever, what is the first name of Davy's crush on the swim team, who later becomes the high school's assistant swim coach in season four? Finally, what is the first and last name of the professional athlete who is the most followed person on Instagram as of October 2023? All right, there are your questions. Each team, 60 seconds. That's all you're gonna get during the commercial break. This has been an absolutely epic game so far, and all of it comes to an exciting conclusion when we come back. Don't go anywhere, everybody. You're watching The Classroom. Tension in this studio is palpable. I can feel it coming from both sides right now because everybody wants to win this thing and only one team will. Pensbury High School in the studio today. The scores, teachers, a little bit trailing behind the students, but everybody's doing well. The topic of our final exam is athletics. Here was question number one. What do each of the rings of the Olympic flag represent? We are looking for one answer. Teachers, we'll start with you, Miss Booze. 
the number of continents that participate. Oh, that's going to get you up to 180 and the lead. That's got to feel pretty good. Claire, you want to take it back? What'd you say? Continents. Continents, also the right answer. I heard these guys throw around six different answers that wasn't continents <laughs> and get it just in that last little nick of time. So good answer. We move to question two. In Netflix's Never Have I Ever, what is the first name of Davy's crush on the swim team, who later becomes the high school's assistant swim coach in season four? Okay, teachers, we go back to you, Mr. Lindemann. <laughs> this, is a, this is a Hail Mary. Billy? Unbelievable! <laughs> no, that's wrong. Sorry, that was close. I got you hyped up, though. Connor, you want to tell them the right answer? I had Sean. <laughs> that's not right either. The answer was Paxton, everybody. Paxton. And a show comes down to this final question. What is the first and last name of the professional athlete who is the most followed person on Instagram as of October 2023? We go to Mr. Ciola. To stay in the game, what did you say? Lionel Messi, hold it right there. Daniela, what did you say? Cristiano Ronaldo. One of these answers is correct and will be the winner of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, the answer is... Cristiano Ronaldo! Yeah. Students win the game! Take home the check and bragging rights! How about it? Come on out here and celebrate. Hey, hope you guys had a good time with the classroom. This show's the best. Thanks for being with us. I want to see your school here. So they, they should come, right? Don't miss it. We'll see you guys next time.